In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here in the center, I have created this uh, wooden pole and when I click, it will show uh, the options on either side. So when I click first option, it will come here. You can add the title, the detailed text along with the icon. And when I click, it will show to the right side with a different color combination, the option two, then the option three, option four, option five, and option six. And I have created one more slide with a different design. You can see here, if you don't want like that, you can just create uh, the, the slide something like this as well. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free. And I have provided the link on the video description section of each video. And you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light gray color background. Then go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose this particular shape which is rectangle top corners one rounded and one snipe select this one and drag it and you can see here there are two small orange point select the orange point which is the extreme left side to outside and then you can see here this one just make it more corner here more cut and then go to the rotate and i'm going to make i'm going to select flip vertical all right and then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to fill this with white color then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then shape outline i'm going to select some a gray color outline and shape fill make it no fill and bring it here something like this all right and then send this to back so it looks the shape like this and then for this white uh, shape i'm going to give some shadow effect for that right mouse click go to the format shape and here i'm going to the effects under shadow select preset and i'm going to choose uh, which is uh, this one which is offset bottom and you can increase the size a little bit you can see here and you can increase the blur effect also all right so it looks something like this and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape again and i'm going to give uh, some colorful options here so reduce the size you can see here and place it here and make sure there is no shadow effect for this all right and then i'm going to give some different color here for example i'm going to give orange and i'm going to keep somewhat outside of this we can see here again if you feel that the size is smaller i can just increase the size also okay so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this into two pieces so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle and select this shape hold the shift key select this rectangle merge shape and i'm going to make it fragment and delete this part you can see here now two different objects are there so this object i'm going to select and i'm going to give more dark color to this okay i can just go here and i can just choose maybe a kind of darker color here all right and click ok so you can see here more dark color and then i'm going to add one more shape let me just zoom in i'm going to add one more shape here for that go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this which is right triangle draw a right triangle all right shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give the same color what we have used here then rotate i can make it you can see here flip vertical and then i'm going to make it flip horizontal so it looks kind of the shape which is coming from this white rectangle or white shape okay so you can see here the shape is almost ready now it's time for us to add some options some icons and detailed text so go to insert text box and i'm going to type option 01 make it bold increase the size and font size i'm going to choose white and i'm going to later on change this color and the size also but for the meantime i'm just going to keep this much okay i'm going to center align as well all right then go to the insert icons and i'm going to choose the icon uh, depending on the requirement so choose any relevant icons do not choose any icon which does not make any sense all right so it's taking some time to 
download yeah so I'm randomly I'm going to choose some icon say icon which is the alarm clock and click insert and I'm going to make the height and width as 0.6 a smaller one and I'm going to place this here and then here I'm going to insert the text box the title again I'm going to use the font which is open sans extra bold all right and then here I'm going to insert the detailed text all right so equals lorian within brackets I don't want this much large text I'm going to cut this reduce the font size all right and just place it here so this shape is ready so now I'm going to set all the shapes press ctrl G to group it okay then hold the ctrl shift key drag it down so you can see here three shapes here let me just move here and then hold the ctrl shift key and drag it towards the right side so you have got six options now it's time for us to change the color of this okay so here i can just give or uh, maybe a darker green and here i'm going to give also a darker green here all right and then i'm going to give a lighter green here so like this color combination you can just choose maybe i'm going to give a dark blue here also dark blue then here i'm going to choose light blue color so you can see the color combination i'm using and here i can just give some kind of a purple a dark purple and here i'm going to give some light purple and here also the dark purple which is this all right so now here i can just give a maybe a brown a darker brown with a lighter brown color or maybe it's kind of burgundy color okay so let me just keep the same color here and then the last one i'm going to give a kind of uh, say gray color let's use some gray color all right or blue color dark blue also i think let me just go with the gray and here also i'm going to select the gray color and here i'm going to choose the light gray color all right so you can see here so you can see here if you want you can just keep the slide as it is but if you want to make it more uh, you know uh, a creative what you can do is you can go to view enable the guides and then go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose this rectangle which is rectangle top corner rounded draw a rectangle exactly in the center and make it somewhat big shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to select the uh, a gradient fill for this okay and the gradient fill direction i'm going to choose this direction here the first one i'm going to choose a darker a brown color here and here also i'm going to choose the same darker brown and then here i'm going to choose a lighter brown color and here a more lighter color so it looks something like this kind of a uh, it looks kind of a say a wooden pole okay all right so once this is done now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this and bring this closer to it you can see here it should be touching this one and this shapes what you need to do is select this shape go to the shape format rotate and i'm going to make it rotate or uh, flip horizontal okay and then i'm going to place it like this here exactly and then just we need to arrange it so let to arrange this one i'm going to uh, ungroup this one so to ungroup that one select the object and hold the control shift g to ungroup it okay now you can see here i can just align it properly all right you can see here here also i can align it properly and this also i can align it all right again once this is done i'm going to select this one one by one press ctrl g select this ctrl g select this and ctrl g so this is my option number one this is my option number two this is my option number three four 
five and option number six all right and then if you want to change the icons i can just simply select this icon for example yeah go to the graphic formats change graphics from icons and you can just choose any icon of your uh, choice so i'm going to choose maybe this one and click insert so you can see here the icons got change okay so you can see our slide design is ready and if you want to do some a uh, basic animation to it you can go to the animations enable the animation pane and select the first one and I'm going to add animation more entrance effect you have got wide variety of effects so I'm just going to select the stretch click OK stretch and I'm going to make it from right so it looks something like this all right so now using the animation painter I'm going to copy this but here the effect option should be from the left then third one now it's easy to copy and paste it here you can see here this is the animation four sorry five and then this is the animation six so let's see here so first second third fourth fifth and sixth 